What's up guys and welcome back to my GTA 6 news series. So today I'm going to be talking about how Grand Theft Auto 6 has just got pushed back even further than you guys think with Rockstar's new development process. So if you guys think you will be hearing about GTA 6 within the next few years, I wouldn't hold your breath. Rockstar have stated that they have officially changed their development process for Red Dead Redemption 2 and all future developments, so this is going to have a fairly major impact on Grand Theft Auto 6 and basically any other future Rockstar title if they ever get around to Bully 2, Max Payne 4, Agent or even a new IP. So as you guys will probably know, Rockstar Games do have several major development studios around the globe. They've got Rockstar North in Edinburgh who mainly develops GTA 5. There's Rockstar Toronto, who were previously Rockstar Vancouver in Canada, who mainly developed the Bully game. And then there was Rockstar San Diego in California, who mainly developed the first Red Dead Redemption game. Now their development process used to involve having one major studio work on the title, and then kind of pull in the other resources from the other studios where they were needed. But the first Red Dead Redemption game was actually mainly created in the San Diego studio. And what that would mean is that the other studios would be able to simultaneously develop other games at the same time, which actually allowed for Rockstar to have a fairly regular release schedule. Um, if you guys remember, before GTA 5 was released, Rockstar would actually release a new game every single year, up until GTA 5, and now it's actually been over five years until we'll get the next release, which is obviously going to be Red Dead Redemption 2. So Rob Nielsen, who is the co-studio head of Rockstar North in Edinburgh, Scotland, revealed their change in their development process in a recent interview with IGN. He said, Work on Red Dead 2 began eight years ago as production drew to a close on its predecessor. So as you guys can see, as soon as Red Dead Redemption 1 was released, they straight away began work on Red Dead Redemption 2. Now obviously this wasn't full production at that time, I'm sure at that time they were just starting the, you know, some of the pre-production of the game, you know, scripting, laying down the foundations, the map development, that sort of early kind of work before it went into full production. He said, I think when we finished this one, we decided what story we wanted to tell for the sequel. I think that sort of informed where we wanted to go and set ourselves to the challenges ahead. We always like to move to new hardware when we can go from the ground up because it lets us push the core ideas we're always chasing and playing with and trying to realize much further. Every time, every generation, we get to push these ideas further. And he confirmed that Red Dead Redemption 2 is the first game where Rockstar have actually changed their process and become one single Rockstar studio instead of functioning separately, they're going to be um, functioning as one whole unit. Now what's also interesting is an Italian media outlet called Every Eye, I don't know how, exactly how you pronounce that one, but they did an interview with Rockstar and they actually stated that they've been working on a new dynamic AI system for six years now, which is pretty insane. If you guys didn't know already, every NPC in Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to have a purpose and a daily schedule. So each NPC, they're not going to be just kind of like a dead NPC floating around. You know, they're actually going to have a daily schedule and you can follow them around and just to make the world feel even more authentic. So as the technology advances, guys, it's pretty clear that all of the resources that Rockstar Studios have around the world kind of had to combine their efforts to make Red Dead Redemption 2 live up to their high expectations. And I don't know about you guys, but organizing all of these different studios around the world to actually work collaboratively on one game must just take so much project planning to make sure these projects aren't being kind of disjointed in their development. So considering that Red Dead Redemption 2 has actually taken 8 years of development, you know, this means that all of the Rockstar Studios have been very heavily invested in Red Dead Redemption 2 and making that happen, which means GTA 6 is likely only had very sort of basic pre-planning and not even touched full development yet. And I still see so many people online saying that GTA 6 will be announced and released in maybe a year or two from now, and in my opinion we'll be very lucky to even have GTA 6 announced in that time. So if for example GTA 6 did have an 8 years development cycle just like Red Dead Redemption 2 had, that would mean that it would be released in 2021, which is still another 3 years away. But that's assuming Rockstar take exactly the same development time for GTA 6 as they did for Red Dead Redemption 2, which as we know is probably quite unlikely. With each new game that Rockstar releases, they need longer and longer development times to you know, continue to deliver outstanding games to their and our high expectations as Rockstar fans. So I'd say even a 10 year development time from the release of GTA 5 doesn't really sound too crazy at all. 
So that would put GTA 6 at 2023, still another five years uh, away from today, guys. And of course, in usual Rockstar style, they do like to delay things and over-deliver on expectations that could potentially add extra time to development, as it did with Red Dead Redemption 2. And of course, this is all assuming that GTA 6 is indeed the next game after Red Dead Redemption 2. You know, Rockstar might even surprise us and announce a sequel to the Bully game. Bully 2 would be absolutely amazing. And if they were releasing any other game, that would of course add many more years to the development of GTA 6, keeping GTA fans waiting even longer. So that's pretty much everything we know so far about Rockstar Studios and their change in development process. Let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see next from Rockstar Games after Red Dead Redemption 2. You know, would you like to see Billy 2, Max Payne 4, Agent, or them release a completely new game? Let me know what you guys think. As always, if you guys do enjoy these videos, please take a few seconds to leave it a like, and go ahead and subscribe if you are new, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future Rockstar Games breaking updates. Have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Sick of a little Santa. Dodging missiles, dodging bullets.